Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another guide and this time we are looking at defeating Ultra Ezra Jow. I have tried so many times to say that name right. Long story short, there's a couple different methods we're going to go over that I have used so far and both are pretty effective. Now, it is worth mentioning that this is considerably easier than the Engineer. So for Strat 1, we are using a Lightcaster, Lord of Order, Void High Lord, Arch Paladin. But as always, you can of course swap these out for similar classes if you so choose. The main perks of this is of course to have that support and the heal in place to make sure you're able to survive this battle. The Void High Lord I wouldn't generally recommend using. I was for this. It was absolutely fine. I'd say anything other than the Engineer you can get away with Void High Lord but you don't want more than one person running it. So let's talk about Ezra Jow, who only really has one mechanic. As soon as you see that counter appearing just like on the defense drone previously you need to make sure no one is attacking otherwise you'll all be wiped. Ezra Jow cannot be stunned Power Word Die is your best friend, so make sure everyone is running that or Enhancement. Of course, that can go up and down depending on certain buffs and abilities that are in play. Anyway, so this is the first attack that we did, and of course this is Strat 1. So primarily it is literally just the case of attacking where you can, keeping yourselves alive, and then watching out for the counter. We will shout the counter when it comes up. There's quite a good example we've got here. As you can see, this is near the end of the fight, and we have literally just been rinsing and repeating the same process incredibly strong heals going on and a lot of it. That was the thing with Void High Lord. It's quite a selfish class to be using in this situation, but it will keep you alive and it does do quite moderate damage, which was the main reason I was running it. Personally, there is nothing wrong in this fight with everyone going to support classes, which is probably actually the best way to tackle it. So here comes the counter. Everyone moves away, stops attacking, make sure the boss is deselected and give it about five seconds to the ability fades and then you can crack on with the attack again. The writing will tell you when the ability has faded so do keep your eyes out for that it is really rather important as i'm sure you've all noticed as we've gone through this fight and indeed when you've been fighting ezra jow yourself there is also the locking of abilities that does happen that isn't anything you need to worry about too majorly unless of course it ends up locking your group's heal ability then yes you may run into a spot of bother but hey that would just be a bit unlucky and you just have to rerun the fight again anyway so as you can see we have just about there we go defeated the boss and then we can move on to Strat 2, which is all about power word die. The classes our group were running were Lord of Order, Underworld Chrono, which was myself. We had Stone Crusher and Light Caster. And again, you can literally just swap these out. But the important thing is, is everyone in the group needs to be running power word die. Die. So as far as the way you want to go about tackling this fight, you really just need to rinse and repeat what we did before with keeping your team alive, using the supports, using the heals. If you stick to these sort of class setups that I've shown you, it doesn't really matter which one you go for. I'm just showing you two different examples. So there are different combos you can use. And you just need that one tiny bit of luck to hit that incredibly high amount of damage from the ore enhancement. And then like that, Bob is your teapot. The boss defeats incredibly quickly. I can say in all honesty, I've actually defeated these bosses more times through Power Word Dark than going the full length in the whole fight. Anyway, so huge shout out to everyone that featured in this video as always. What we're going to do is just for anyone that is unsure on how you can go about getting all enhancements, I will show you exactly where you need to go. But I'm sure many of you who are tackling these ultra fights are more than aware by now. Anyway, so Valencia, you can go look at your armor of ore and in there you will find all these lovely ore enhancements. I used the lucky ones on my weapon and then of course just select power die and you are away. So guys, thank you all very much for watching. I hope this kind of helps you out a little bit just so you can kind of see what setups do work against each boss and then until next time have a lovely day and we'll be covering the Ultra Warden.